numbers. They are all around us in our daily life. Some are easy to understand, but there are also numbers you see when you visit with your doctor or learn more about your health. What if your doctor tells you that your blood pressure is 140 over 90? Is that good? Is that bad? What if you learn that 10% of the population has a similar condition to yours? Or hear in a TV advertisement that this new medication is 80% effective. And then you go to pick up a new prescription and you read the label and you can't make sense of it. What do you do? Let us start with blood pressure. Like many numbers related to your health, there are no absolutely perfect ones. Everyone is different and everyone's numbers are a little different. But there are ranges that fall into categories such as normal, moderate, or dangerous. Here is a Sutter Health website that can help you understand some of the numbers that you will hear when you receive test results. Hearing a health statistic number like 10% of people have a similar condition to you can often be helpful for you to understand how common or rare your condition is. Or you hear that encouraging number about a new medication that you think might really help your depression. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control have a lot of information on their site that can help you learn about the statistics behind your condition. And Medline Plus has an excellent site to help you learn about what numbers from research can mean. You may someday be asked to participate in a research study, and this site can answer many questions you would have about that. And prescription bottles. They can contain a maze of numbers and other information. Milligrams, micrograms, ounces, take two, take two four times a day. Remember that medications always have two names, a brand name like Zoloft and a generic name like Sertraline. This last one is the one most likely to appear on your bottle, but your provider may have mentioned the brand name. Always look at your prescription bottle before leaving the pharmacy and ask the pharmacist if you have any questions. They love to talk to their customers in order to help them get the most out of the medications they take.